another our second reef episode on Laugh and Drift and we're so excited to be out in the big boat again we got the t-shirts so when we hit 10,000 subscribers we're gonna release this t-shirt oh. if you want us to release this subscribe to our videos anyway we just launched from Mission Beach and we're gonna go straight out and camp on an island so excited <laughs> couple days. Kat's just going in, she's gonna check out a good camping spot, what? see where we actually camp. And we've got Kat's mum. Yeah. <laughs> All the way from Sweden. And Kat's up there checking out the camping spot. Tell us if you find a good spot. Yep. So we found our island and we went in and had a look and we found some shaded, partly sunny spot. So we're gonna unload all the swags and all the gear. All the camping gear. Swapping out the ultimate camper for the swag. I think I like this better already. This is me. So, we found a or spot a couple of meters in from the water. Look at this. Pretty cool spot. Oh, it's so good to be on an island. So usually the first thing that happens is that we snap these poles. So we'll try not to snap them. <laughs> it's just us three on the whole island. Alrighty, we had lunch and we're gonna go snorkeling and we have something so excited. We have paired up with Spearfishing Australia and they sent us some awesome snorkeling gear for us to snorkel. I got this beautiful white Avalon mask. This is my dream. I was gonna buy this anyway, but I'm so happy they sent them and a uh, good snorkel and some flippers. So we're gonna have a snorkel and try it all out for you.
Red Emperor down here. Have a look at this. So cool. like little purple cod, um, red emperor, tuskies, um, heap of like um, grassy emperor I think they're called, grassy and spangled emperor and stuff, some big grassies. Yeah. We're not trying too hard for fish today because we actually got some steaks that we can cook. <laughs> <laughs> that is lucky. <laughs> and then tomorrow we have to catch a fish tomorrow because yeah. we've got no more meat left. Yeah. No. <laughs> Healthy breath. I know it's all of you that I get. One bedroom flat. I lock the door and put that photo of her on the floor. Been here for hours. It's getting dark. Oh, we oh what is it? Oh, it's a barracuda. Oh, oh. oh he's full of that. Yeah. Little barracuda. Do you need the pliers, What's the teeth? Not the desired species. <laughs> they were pretty. Oh, gee. Wow. We have made it back to camp. Gil is anchoring the boat and he's going to swim back in. And now we're going to start dinner probably. Maybe have a little drink. Play some Uno, maybe. <laughs> Just enjoy this beautiful campsite. Well, that was a good first day. Mm -hmm. Super good. Went for a little snorkel, seen some cool fish. Didn't shoot anything though. No. But we have steak for tonight. Yeah, so we've got steak for tonight. So that was the stop. order. Mm. Not shooting any fish, but mm -hmm. tomorrow we got no steaks left. So we're going to need to catch something for dinner. And we'll so catch amazing. you bright and, bright and early in the morning for some pancakes. Yes, yeah. and coffee. Pancakes, coffee in the morning, then straight to the reef. Let's go. Let's go. See you in the morning. Cheers. Good morning from the island. It is so beautiful here. We are gonna start the morning with some coffee and pancakes and then we're gonna leave for the reef and go fishing. Hopefully the wind won't pick up too much. Hope, hope, hope. But yeah, I'm so ready for breakfast and a coffee. I had a good sleep anyway. A little bit hot, but it was good. And you don't have a milk jug. You the bed door and Every time I think of you, something happens in my mind. Well, <laughs> well, we had a little bit of a shower this morning, which we didn't really rain. I predict. haven't rained for three weeks. Yeah. And it starts raining. <laughs> but we survived it. Yeah. And now we're going to head out the reef. Um, oh, I'd love to shoot, obviously I'd love to shoot something good. Yes. Um, but we need something for dinner, so yep. we've got no more food left. No. 
So hopefully we get something for dinner and hopefully something cool. Just got out the reef and I'm gonna jump in for a dive. Um, water's looking really good. We're gonna try and get something for dinner. We need some fish for dinner. Recently, we've just started working with Spearfishing Australia. So they've sent us this massive package with pretty much a whole new kit for myself and Kat, which is really cool and we're really great. They sent us some Rob Allen stuff. Rob Allen, as I've been growing up and spearfishing forever, Rob Allen's like a brand that I've just always loved and always wanted to have their gear and that sort of stuff. So here's even like a old Rob Allen that I've had for, I've had this one for about oh, four or five years, but I've got another one that I've had for over 10 years and they're still going here's strong. The new wetsuit looks amazing. It's so good. All right, put yeah. it on and... New wetsuit. Ooh, get kitted up. Alrighty, here we go. I've been getting you the rest. Now you wanna stay the night. Pity how you went caught for me. Why forgetting how to talk? Nah, I don't like no humble beats. Just go and slice it up. Now it's time to match. Me. Oh my God. Ah. Oh. Get him off! Oh. Okay, don't stick your hand no. in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's your babe. We got a. Or Gil got a cold trout. It's pretty red, has these really blue spots, and they're really good for dinner. Good job, babe. Not a bad one, eh? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I like it when you look like that Don't wanna watch your brother with a white mouth back Just like it when you're looking like that No sweets, no rush, can't fuck my attraction Don't think twice, I'm here for the moment No, I like him better I could teach me something And then I'll make it last forever I've been giving you the right to me Now you wanna stay the night Just say I just missed a really nice tusky. Like I went down from above him and he sort of rolled sideways a little bit and I'm like, oh yeah, but it's a pretty good shot. And I shot straight over the top of him. I was like, oh stuff. And then went back up and he swam back down the same rock and I was like, oh yeah, here we go. Mm. So I just put one rubber on and then I dove on him again, mm. like straight away. And then he was sort of a bit more skittish and it was a bit of a long shot. So I only had one rubber loaded because I thought it was the two rubbers why I missed. And I just pricked, it was a longer shot and I just hit him and it just tore straight. I just put, fell straight out. Bug and swam off. Yeah, he was a nice one. I reckon he was like seven, eight kilo. Oh so God. he's, he's wow. out there. He's going to be even smarter next time. Unlucky. <laughs> Might have to put some new rubbers on when we get back. Yeah, definitely. Oh. I crashed a drone in the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can say. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we're very sad. We just crashed the drone. We um, went in to the water and then it just <laughs> straight in the water. But we got in it. salt water. Perfect. All right. There's a Nanny guy right under the boat. Not a red emperor. Put your goggles on. You all repeat, you can see shit cause you have closed your eyes. You say you listen, but you're missing what it's all about. She got it! 
She got it! <laughs> what? Fred Emperor! He's very alive. I jumped in like on the pressure point on that little bommy. Um, I was only in there for like 30 seconds and there was just bait and everything everywhere. And this guy was like swimming around like in the middle of the bait, sort of like chasing the bait fish. Yep. And I was like, cat, jump in, jump in, there's I'm a like, red emperor. <laughs> oh, okay. Won't get him, but. And I'm pretty sure I videoed the shot too. That's crazy. Yeah, you got him a bit high, just yeah, got him. Always high. And I was like, I've got to grab him. I well, yeah, sort you, of like went into like a cave and I sort of grabbed him and I'm like, yep, we got him. <laughs> Team effort. Yeah. Wow. Perfect. So cool. We need some photos and videos. Yeah. Can't believe I got this fish. It's so crazy. Is it right, Emperor? How did you get it? I don't know. He shot it. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Never. I seen it. Um, I seen it in the water. I'm like, can't jump in. So she literally through her like snorkeling goggles and snorkeling well, flippers on. Ocean Pro some snorkeling gear on. Yeah, her Ocean Pro kit on and jumped in and sure enough. Got it. Got him. <laughs> High five. All right. Yep. Yes. Close it up. Oh, 
Have a go with that! <laughs> that oh, is man. huge! You're gonna have to hold him up. Wow. He doesn't even look like a tusky. <laughs> it's so big. Do you know what? what? I jumped in and I shot a mackerel. I missed a mackerel. Oh, and I'm really? like, this is not right. It was only a little mackerel. Oh. And then I checked my shaft and the shaft's been bent all day. So that's oh. why we've been shooting fish high. So I straightened it in the water. And then as I was straining it, um, I seen this guy. And I'm like, oh, that's a big tusky. So dove down and I just swam on him pretty hard. Yeah. Like they sort of don't mind getting, if you come from above, they don't really mind it. Really? Um, that is massive. And I smacked him. I smacked him like right yeah. there, perfect. And then he started fighting and he come off. What? So I had to keep my eyes on him. And then I had to reload on the surface while I kept my eyes on him. Oh, and then I seen him, he sort of went into this little cave. They always, tuckies always go into caves. So I was like, oh yep, he swam into that cave. And then I like just did another dive down like 15 meters real quick. And um, seen his tail. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna shoot him. So I just shot him right in the middle there the second time. Yeah. So. So lucky after losing that one today, this yeah. morning, losing a real big tusky. And then I'm yes. like, oh, yep, I'm gonna have a, had my chance on a second big one for the day and, and lost it as well. And yeah. I'm like, oh no, but managed to get him. Nice. Look at the colors. Wow. And the best eating. <laughs> yum, yum, get you some tusky. Yum, yum. We made it back. We have to get the fish in. Gil's gonna anchor the boat. <laughs> All over there. Dusky. Well, I really don't see how our island trip could get any better. Such a good location and definitely the best spot we've had on the reef ever. So that's so fun. Look at the fish. Yeah, what do you reckon? Yeah, I'll just get me start for. Yeah, you're right. Anchor lights on, on number one battery. She's good to go for the night. Now I just gotta swim back in. Lucky the water's like 27 degrees. <laughs> I did give you a gun with a bent shaft though. Well, we'll so. say that. <laughs> no, it 100% was bent. Because I missed a mackerel straight after. Yeah, right. And then I looked at the shaft and it was bent straight up. Maybe I would have had a better shot if not. Yeah. Hmm. I reckon. It's been a really good day. Good fishing. Like, really good fishing, isn't it? Yeah, we didn't get much, but... No, we don't have to get much. We just have to get good. good yeah, stuff. We, didn't, we didn't try and fill the boat. No. Definitely not. I think this is my biggest tusky ever. It's cool mm -hmm. to get a PB. Mm -hmm. I don't get many PBs very often. No, it's fine. Are you trying to get it over? Or? Just sit there. This is a jungle shower. Oh. I can't believe you're going in dry. <laughs> it's the only way. 
がある。It's not too bad. Mm, Is it? Yeah. Do I get a towel? Can we turn the camera off? Oh. Oh yeah. I'll turn the camera off. Yeah. So we decided to have the nanny, not the nanny guy, Red Emperor tonight. My Red Emperor. Yep, your Red Emperor that you speared. Has more than one. I want to look at that video actually. Yeah. So we're just going to um, slice up the fillets a little bit smaller and then just going to put them in some taco seasoning and then make a little wrap with some pasta salad we've got left over. Avocado. Avocado, cheese, a bit of mayo. Yum. Oh, perfect. Fresh avo. It's going to be super good. Yeah. And Always simple. It's the best on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just put all that in there. Oh, shit. Oh. Might be alright. It's going to have to be alright. Yeah, it's all in. Oh. Nice. Is it mama? All right, let's give it a taste. Mm. That's the fish. Tastes a lot like taco seasoning, but really good. You can tell it's really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit too much on. Yeah. Mm. Good white fish. Very good. Mm. I think I need another one. Mm. Really nice. So good. Good day to, good end mm. to a really good day. Mm. You, got you your, like your mum? I really loved it. You loved it? Yeah. She loved it. Amazing. Love the snorkeling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Got some really good fish, like I think that's like my PB Tusky, which is pretty cool. Mm. You got your first red emperor on the spear, which is amazing. That was crazy. Mm. And there was just so many fish and the water was nice. and. Pretty good weekend. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Do we See you in the morning. Up? See you in the morning. Maybe. We're going to play a little game for who has to cook breakfast. It's the furthest way has to cook. So this is the little target and we've got to gum that over there. Oh, not bad. Oh, oh not too bad. Oh, it is closer. Oh my God. Well, the pancakes are ready. Oh. Great job over there. Thank you. <laughs> um, we've got some blueberries, mango. Nutella, yum. Nutella, even. Maple syrup. Mm. Hey guys, um, so the time's come to replace the spear gun rubbers on my gun. And I thought I'd run through how I do it for you guys as well whilst I'm doing it. So all you need is a, I've just got the Ocean Hunter rubber kit here and you need some rubber a knife and a lighter. You want to cut your rubber to length. So online there's a heap of size charts on what standard length they should be for your size gun. So just look that up. It's gonna go 80 and then I can cut it down shorter if I want. A little pro tip to cut your rubber nice and neatly is um, sort of a two person job. So what you do, you stretch it and then you get someone to cut it at the same time. So whoa, you get a nice clean cut. First step is to Put your bridle onto the wishbone. So you just thread that in there. I like to just wrap it around my hand a little bit like that. Um, and then that goes in there. So just a little bit of spit on there. And then push it in. You want to go in about oh, 20 mil or so. 
repeat that on the other end. So thread it on, pull it, a little bit of spit. And then pull that out. So that's through. So then grab your constrictor cord, which comes in the kit. Pull off a little bit. This is, I think it's called a constrictor knot. It's like a clovage, but it's got another twist in it. So go over once and make a cross like that. And then you want to come again and you want to go underneath that cross. So straight beneath that cross like that. And then you want to go, we go one, so that's a clo that's your standard clove hitch. And then you go underneath that one again. So it just gives it one extra locking twist in there. That's perfect, that's ready to be pulled. Now these need to be pulled nice and tight um, so that the bead can't come out from the inside of the rubber. So I'll use a pair of pliers and then wrap the other end around the wishbone tool and then you can see that's coming in oh beautiful when you cut your tag ends I usually leave about oh, about two or three mil um, above the knot so that you've got enough to burn down I'll show you that in a second so I just want to round the edge of those off um, just so they don't pull back through the knot, just like that. Perfect. And then the last step is just to seat the beads in onto the knot. So you can see this one, the bead is actually a fair bit up. Um, but if you just give that a pull, you can see the bead slides in on there and sits behind the knot. And then just give him a test. Yep, right to go. One brand new Rob Allen rubber made with the Ocean Hunter rigging kit. Ready to go. Well, we are leaving this amazing island. We had such a good time, got so many good fish. Had great sleeps in the swags. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's been beautiful, hasn't it? We're definitely gonna come back. Yeah. Maybe try another island, but how yeah. beautiful is it? Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and catch us in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.